Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, and today I wanted to do another episode of my coloring updates. So I wanted to show you here, um, I got this book recently at a discount store. Now I'm not into tarot, I know a lot of people put that disclaimer right away, it's so funny. But the discount store that I went to, um, they sell books and they sell a lot of things that like, basically aren't selling in other stores. You know, whatever um, is on clearance or it's just not selling, they get that stock. And so they have a ton of books about tarot, witches, witchcraft. Like it's just not selling. Lulu Mayo's book of the Kauai, not the coloring book, the book, has been there for months. Like I always go in there because they have, sometimes they have coloring books. So I pop in there once in a while, and this was there this time for $5, and um, yeah, I guess people aren't buying it, I don't know. Now, I don't, I'm not into tarot because I don't like anything like satanic or occult, it's just not my thing, and, um, but I like the art, the art of tarot, because it has borders, and it's kind of like Art Nouveau. You know what I mean? I love the Art Nouveau where they have borders and it's not. And this illustrator, Alexis E. Thompson, is amazing. Like, I hope they commission her to do like a mythographic. That would be amazing. She's really talented. So I really like the artwork and I just cover up whatever I don't like. <laughs> um, okay, so I took out some pages <laughs> that are like creepy. Um, yeah, this hand signal. No, thank you. Um, yeah, anything that's kind of like a little satan, like you know, satanic. I want to say. I just uh, no. The hangman, death. No, thank you. The devil. No, thanks. <laughs> I don't like negative, dark kind of stuff. But the rest of it I like, and I'm just gonna cover up like all the tarot stuff. You know what I mean? Like here, there was a. A pentagram so I just um, covered it up so I'm just like covering up what I don't like and I love the artwork so yeah just wanted to show you such beautiful artwork I really really like it and I love the borders you could do like gold it's kind of like reminds me of Art Nouveau so um yeah, for five bucks, I was like, you know what? I'll do it. <laughs> and as you can see, I already started covering up just the tarot part. So we'll see. Maybe I'll even block out the name and write art. <laughs> I know, weird. But yeah, I just want to show you the ones that I took out. So I'm going to be tossing those. And then I wanted to show you... Um, I have a buddy color coming up in this book called Mid-Century Modern Animals. And we um, have a group buddy color in here. This is gonna be the third page that we're doing. We are gonna do the owl. And um, let me just see that I'm in frame. Yeah, it kind of looks a little wintry. These kind of look like snowflakes to me, but so maybe I'll make it like a wintry kind of page. We'll see. This is so abstract that it can go any way, you know, so. That'll be fun, and that's with um, a, a group of ladies, Doodle Robot, Colorful Pirate, Megan uh, from Colorful Pirate, I said, uh, Carrie Kay, Jojo Zahanna, Tammy Colors 2, and two other ladies, I can't remember the names that from Instagram, but I'll uh, hopefully write down their names in the description. So it's getting big, the group, the group body color. But yeah, we're going to be doing that one. And then I have a buddy color in here with T from T's World of Adult Coloring. And she already finished hers. I haven't even started. But I wanted to show you guys that th we picked this because I have to... Um, this is one of the ones she suggested. And I said to her, you know what? Yeah, let's do it because anyway, I have to cover this up. This is This is one of the pages that came colored. So, um, hers is awesome. So I'll, I'll show it in my completed pages when I'm done with mine. So I'm going to be doing that and we'll, I have to think about what I want to do here. So that's exciting. And that's in 
Fantastic Cities by Steve McDonald. Um, I am hopefully going to do a buddy color in here with a manja, 88. And we are trying to pick a page, so I haven't we haven't decided yet on that. Um, I am trying out these pencils. Let's see. I got so far just the dark tone skin and the monarch set uh, for the black from the Black Widow uh, company, and that is because Emma from Emma Colors, I think that's the name. Um, was saying how much she liked uh, the Black Widows in her pencil collection video. And I was like, you know what? I always heard about them. I always wanted to try it, and I decided to try it. I can't say I'm that impressed. It's okay. I think the Brute Fooner squares are better. Like, there's more pigment to them, you know? But I'm still testing it out, so I'm not sure I'm going to keep them. I may return them. I'm not sure. So I, these are the swatches so far. I think I'm done swatching them. Um, not sure if I'm done swatching them. I think I am, but uh, I was in the middle of swatching them. And so far, these are the colors, so we'll see. They're nice, but they feel a little bit, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. I have to test them out on different paper and then we'll see. Okay, so I wanted to show you um, from last time that I was talking about doing the background first and I started a whip in here, Vertical Worlds, by Abby, Abby Daker. I saw this on Coloring with K, of course. I get so many books because of Coloring with K. Like, literally, I love her taste in books and she enables me probably the most. <laughs> anyway. So I wanted to show you the, the background, how I told you guys about how I, it's just so easy to like do the background first. So right here, this tree house, it's called, this page is called the vertical tree house. And I am doing the background first. And then I will add colors on top of that. And maybe even some like paint on top, but this is just the base. And I'm using my Ohuhu, it's part of the pastel line or set, uh, pale blue. B120, and this one has the brush tip, the Honolulu series. This is the best one, in my opinion. So, just wanted to show you that one. And I wanted to talk to you about, you guys about um, how I do, somebody asked me, how do you do so many double page spreads? So, I want to show you what I do with the double page spreads. Um, look at this huge stack. And this is basically all my double page spread whips. So what I do with double page spreads is that I spread them out, pardon the pun, over like three or four months, you know? I mean, it depends, obviously, you know? But I noticed that, you know, like I'll start a double page spread and I probably won't finish it unless I have a buddy color or I really like the spread. Usually I don't finish my double page spreads in one month. I do it over like three months, you know? And I'll leave it alone. And then when I feel like it, all of a sudden the urge will come and I want to work in it again. So that's how I do it. You know what I mean? So I want to show you all my ongoing double page spread whips right now just to show you like how many I have. But that's just how I do it. So and I work on it like in parts, you know, so I have this one in Winter Wonderland. I started a long time ago. I started with the background and, you know. I plan to finish this soon and like do ink tents and stickles on it. Maybe some shading with black, we'll see. So that's my double page whip in that one. And I'm just showing you to like show you how I do it. And I feel like this is just a good way to kind of finish double page spreads is to spread them out and have like a bunch going at the same time. This one is the l nice little town of bears or something like that the japanese coloring book this i saw in coloring with k as well and if you want to find this and the mouse book basically on amazon japan just look up eerie that's how i did it i wanted the more uh the eerie books and then they suggest this to you this and the mouse one they suggest it to you so i just added it to my cart but i have this uh double page spread coloring with k did this um page two 
So just started it, you know, and I will go back to it when I feel like it. Here I have an Alice in Wonderland by Fabiana Atanasio. I have this double page spread. It's almost done. But, you know, there is just a little bit more to do and, you know, but when I'm not feeling it, I just not feeling it. I don't, I, you know, I don't do it. So there's that in Night Voyage. Now this spread, I wanted to tell one more thing about this. This I did finish in a month. I may have started it towards the back end of the last month, but because it was a buddy color, I kind of finished it in one month, which I don't usually do, but. One thing I wanted to say about this one is one of my viewers from the UK <laughs> was so sweet and she told me that, you know what, what I'm calling rockets to the mandala is actually darts with a, to a dartboard. And I was like, oh yes, that's what they are. They're darts. Totally. They're darts thrown at a dartboard. So that makes total sense. And she's like riding the dart. So I just wanted to... <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, what am I seeing here? And that's exactly what it is. So thank you so much to my viewer from the UK. I love, um, you know, people from the UK, they're the best. Okay, Okay, I forgot this. So the whip that I wanted to show is this one and it's the Inktense Paints, the first layer. And I'll be adding another layer. So, and I still didn't even finish this part. So yeah, that's that whip in here, double page spread. It's gonna take a while. I love their accents. Okay, in this one, Beauty and the Beast, I have this. This is just a meditative page where I did the background in the metallic, metallic marker. And um, yeah, so it's just a chill page, but even this, you know, I work on it in parts. And eventually I'll finish it. Kaleidomorphia, this one I have a video on and I still haven't finished it, but I really want to get on it, hopefully soon. Um, yeah, so I have that one. In Tomislav Tomic, I have two double page spreads in here. Because as you know, these are very intricate pages. So I have this one going and it needs another layer of background. And I have um, this one going, which I started a while ago. But um, yeah, so that's how I do it. You know, work on it in, in stages. And uh, that's what I do. I have, it, have them like in a basket. This one, I have this one, which I feel like working on. I finally, I started a while ago and... I'm like, ooh, I want to do the dresses now because for a while I couldn't look at it, you know? Just got sick of the page, but now I kind of want to work on it. So I have this one in Eerie, the second tale, I forgot to say. And I kind of just barely started this one with watercolor. So that's going to be a first wash that I'll do. Um, in Alice's Little Wonderlands, this one I hopefully will finish this month. We'll see. I have that double page spread. And this is watercolor background. And everything is based with watercolor and then I add it on top pencil. It, actually, the, the stems are graphite tint, but an ink tense. But uh, the rest is watercolor with pencil. And Colin Thompson's coloring book, which I also saw in coloring with Kay a long time ago. I have this whip, which I haven't gone back to. It's with graphite tint, I'm working on it. And um, I will get back to that. And then the background is a uh, distress oxide. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the double page spreads that how I do it is I like to kind of work on it in stages and have a couple going and then boom, you just finish them. That's why in like December of last year, I had so many double page spreads because I was just finishing whips that were ongoing for months, you know? Although one of them I did that month, but usually I, I drag them over like a couple of months, you know. Okay, so in Enchanted Forest, I wanted to show you um, that I added stickles to this page. I added a background to both pages. This one is Calera Watercolor. I may need to do another coat, we'll see. Or I may just add like glitter on top or something else. And then here, um, 
I did the Arteza metallic gouache, which I'm going to do inside here and inside here, the, these rings. So, but I just want to show you the stickles that I added. These are old pages that I completed a long time ago, but I'm just making them better. So I am working right now in Enchanted Forest. I took all, this year, I took all of my old pages from Joanna Basford and kind of finished them, made them better because I like to flip through my books. So um, that is what I'm working on. And so, okay, yeah, for for this background, I use the olive green Arteza Metallic Gouache. And I think for the inside here, I'm trying to decide between cactus green or lime green. I think I'm gonna do cactus, so, hmm might be nice to do a matte color in here, but I don't know if I'll do that. Hmm, maybe like an ink tense. That could be cool, an ink tense matte color. And then that would like pop out. What do you guys think? Okay, guys, I decided to use Ionian Green, which is this one right here. One of my favorite um, pencils, ink tense pencils, is Ionian Green. It's like a dark green. And I'm working in my Derwent um, paint uh, palette. And you should know, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but these are not watercolors. They're kind of like India ink, more of like a consistency. So you can't really um, base with these and go on top with pencil because the finish is like a waterproof plasticky finish. So like India ink, if you've ever tried to, if you've ever um, tried to use pencil on top of India ink, like a thick layer of it, <laughs> it's not gonna work. So, um, and I have tried, believe me, so I know <laughs> I made that mistake. So I'm just gonna, I decided instead of doing another metallic, I was gonna try doing a dark color and then I could always do metallic on top if I change my mind, but. I'm going to go in with this Ionian green and um, kind of fill in this circle in it. Let's see how that comes out. So I'm going to fill that in. I'm using my uh, watercolor brush number three, round, and um, I will come back. Okay, so I'm back with the, I did the one layer of the Ionian uh, green. And I'm liking it. I think the second layer is going to be um, even better. It's going to make it pop. And I'm going to have to do some stickles or metallic around the dark green leaves so that they'll pop out <clears throat> because the dark green background kind of making them uh, swallows them up. So, but I'll do that a little later. I just wanted to show you. And I decided to go with um, for this. I didn't want these leaves to kind of get swallowed in any color, so I decided to do the fuchsia kind of color here. And this is gonna be one layer and then I'll do two layers. So we'll see how that goes. I can always cover it with another layer if I decide, if I change my mind and to do the one of the metallic gouaches. Whoops, sorry, that's my kids. So I think I will end the coloring updates here and hopefully I'll show you the rest in the next coloring update. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.